Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. And this is Mary Lou Oreño. In today's episode, I am going to discuss and share with you the new look of education during the COVID-19 pandemic and its impact to the world in terms of education. So are you ready? Let's begin. So COVID-19 pandemic caught the world off guard and everyone is shocked about this virus and, and they're thinking what's going to happen? Principals, teachers, students, parents are panicking. What is going to happen to our children? And then everyone is saying we need to close school because the virus is spreading fast. So everyone is shocked and caught off guard. So it's really an OMG feelings for everyone. So, and because of this COVID-19, there is a changing in the path and approach to learning. So we need to all switch gear. So everyone need to switch gear from, of course, um, classroom instruction to the virtual setting. So everyone is saying, I don't know how to use computer. I don't know how to deliver instructions online. So everyone is panicking and everyone is worried about what's going to happen. But there is no choice but to switch gear from classroom instruction to a virtual learning. So that's what happened because of the panic or you know, caught off guard for everyone. And these are the new faces of teachers. Can you see that? Parents became teachers. Dad, moms, aunties, uncle, grandmas, and everyone. So the pictures, as you see, some are just using television, some are using cell phone, some are using their packet, um, learning packet, and some are uh, using uh, those that are privileged, they have Chromebooks and laptops and computers. So this is the new faces of teachers. It's not only the teacher in the classroom, but parents as well became teacher at home to guide their children in their virtual learning. So if there are no resources, so that is the sad part because not everyone is privilege with resources because um, home learning is very difficult. And um, some teachers and some schools and some families that cannot afford to buy technology, then they rely on learning packets. So teachers need to prepare those packets and send them home. And uh, some poor, poorest family, they even need to share um, any resources, and they can do whatever to help their kids learn. So these are the real pictures of the real stories of people around the world during pandemic when everyone switched to home and virtual learning. So it's, it's really sad, but um, education is important. So families, they never give up. And what if there is no connectivity and gadget as well? Well, look at that. Enable, in order to get connectivity, some people, they have to go to their rooftop. They have to find where the connection is uh, strong and all that. So it's really a challenge for everyone, especially those uh, community and families that are underprivileged. So the struggle is real. I tell you, the struggle is real. Look at that, from the remote areas in the farm, they cannot find any connectivity. So they, they need to go somewhere with their cell phone to get connection and connect to their teachers. And even this little girl, she needs to go to the cemetery because I think the signal is stronger in that place and um, some remote areas where they just live in shanties and remote farms, they need to make use of whatever they have in order to learn and educate their children and educate themselves. So 
these are all photos credited to theguardian.com. So thank you. And at the end of the day, we learned how to deal with online learning. So there's no choice but to learn. Administrators started training teachers. They started getting resources um, like Zoom, Google Classrooms, uh, training, Chromebooks, uh, even hotspots and all of that. So we all learn to deal with the online learning because there's no choice. And we all learn that learning could way beyond the class in the classes in school. So now we realize that, you know, we can learn anywhere. Kids can learn anywhere. Kids can do anything to learn. And families can do anything to support their children in, in able to, in order for them to uh, get a better education. So learning could way beyond the classes in school. And we even learned the expanded definition of learning time and learning place. So learning time and learning place is no longer in the school or in the four corners of the classroom. Learning time can be in the mountain. Learning place can be in the farm, in the cemetery, in the remote area. So anywhere where you can get connectivity or where you can connect to your teachers. So that is the expanded definition of learning time and learning place. But despite the challenges, we can recognize and honor our teachers. You know, real heroes don't wear capes and they teach. And those are the real life heroes in the education world, our teachers. Teachers are heroes and I salute all of you. And with respect to all of you, I want um, to assure you that this is just temporary. We can all go back to our normal lives and probably when the time comes, you will miss all of these exciting challenges and all the fun trouble or good trouble that we encountered during virtual learning. But anyway, this helps us to become more patient, become more resilient, become hopeful and never give up. So, so respect and salute to all of you heroes, teachers, okay? So super thank you. And I hope everyone, um, you know, realize that learning can happen anywhere. And kids, teachers, parents, we all value education. So thank you for now. And super thank you to our superheroes teachers. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can click the subscribe button so you can get notification for my next video. So for now, I need to say bye-bye and see you next uh, video and to God be the glory. So thank you so much for watching and bye.